my fellow wedding florist friends and welcome to the Wedding Florist Social Podcast. This is the podcast for wedding florists to learn all about acing their online presence. I'm your host Vicky Laffey and as a wedding florist of over 10 years now and a certified digital marketer, I want to help you get the right clients, get more followers and never be stuck for content ideas again. Click the link in my description to get your free wedding florist guide to social media content creation today. So yeah, this week, this week we are talking about technology. Um, now, for a lot of you, and let me know if this resonates if you're listening. Um, does the word does the word technology uh, even just fill you with dread? Uh, does the word technology scare you? Uh, are you one of those people who are scared of of, of tech? Um, for a lot of people, that is the case. <laughs> And, you know, one of the things that people tell me that holds them back from their social media or their, you know, posting on social media or updating their websites, et cetera, is the tech. You know, they they, they tell me that they aren't techie or technological. And this makes posting on social media more of a huge task than it uh, may be for others who are perhaps more familiar with using uh, phones and Instagram and Facebook and things like that. Um, so even if they um, do manage to, to kind of capture the, the, the photos and the videos, etc., for their content, um, it, it takes them a while to like figure out how to post it or, you know, make it into a reel or do whatever you're meant to do, etc. So they're they just get frustrated and, and confused and they just give it up and, and going back to the, you know, what we know best, which is is wedding flowers. Um, so I would love to hear from from you if, if that resonates with, with you. Do, do get in touch on, on, on social media or drop me an email or something. I, w- I would love to hear your story around that. Um, you aren't on your own. <laughs> You absolutely are not on your own, I assure you. And it happens to all age groups as, as, as well. It's not just a case of, um, you know, slightly, for example, the, an older generation not not growing up with tech. It, it, you know, there, there are young people who aren't technological. There are old people who, techno- who are technological. There is no age kind of, uh, you know, lim- limit or, uh, you know, barrier or anything like that um it it happens to a lot of different people um but i think the question is how do we get over that um you know how how do we overcome that hurdle uh you know where we need we know we need to post on social media but the tech it just confuses us and it doesn't come naturally to us and and um essentially it keeps us behind in business and you know, it really does keep us behind in business as well. Um, it's not just a case of, oh, I don't need social media. Uh, it, it genuinely does keep us behind in, in business. Um, it, you know, if you aren't updating your online presence at all, uh, it either, it, it tends to kind of manifest itself um, in a number of different, different ways. Um, you know, it manifests itself as attracting lots of the wrong clients. Um, it manifests itself in making more work for yourself. So, you know, that could be, you know, if, if you're on social media posting the wrong things or not at all, or people happen to come across you and, and they're, they're messaging you about orders or, um, you know, making a, a, a bouquet for their wedding next week or something like that. Uh, it, and there's just messages going backwards and forwards. Uh, whereas if you attracted a lots of the right people, that wouldn't be the case. Um, so, so yeah, it manifests itself in either attracting the wrong clients, attracts uh, manifests itself in, in more work for yourself and, you know, who wants that? Uh, or it could manifest itself in, in not attracting many clients at all. Um and none of those are good for business or yourself, let, let's face it. Um, so I guess, first of all, um, as is the case when, when you're doing anything that's unfamiliar or unnatural to you, you know, when, when you're doing something for the first time, um, you're putting effort into it, um, you know, putting effort into your online presence. It, it, it's going to feel a little bit strange and a little bit forced, I guess. You know, uh, this is often the case when you're doing anything new, whether it be riding a bike or learning how to post on social media or what, what anything in between. Um, but I, I promise you that, that the more you put into it, the more you put it into practice, um, the more it will start to feel normal and less of a daunting task um what i would say is um perhaps start with smaller and easier tasks just you know such such as just regularly getting a post out there on your facebook page or instagram 
or putting out one Instagram story a day, for, for example. Um, this is less about doing what the experts tell you to do and more about kind of uh, just just building uh, social media posting into your daily routine and, and your way of thinking, crucially. Um, so just, you know, being consistent and, and present on there for, for a period of time, um, you know, getting into this, this habit, I guess it's a bit like building muscle memory, um, you, you know, getting into this habit of, of posting, of, of thinking, oh, OK, um, that will be good on my socials or I need to post on my socials today or, you, you know, at first it will feel forced. But getting into the habit of this um, for a period of time, you'll event- it'll eventually make it more familiar and automatic, uh, I guess. Um you know, so, so you'll eventually find yourself spotting content creation opportunities in your daily life. You know, you, you'll be walking around and looking at something and thinking, oh, that would be great for my Instagram stories. Um, rather than, you know, that feeling of, oh, I haven't posted anything on my Instagram for ages. I suppose I best get something out here or, oh, you know, oh, no, it's Wednesday. And I said, I said to myself, that's when I'm supposed to post. So I best find something to photograph. And, you know, do, do you see the difference there in, in the, the approach there, you know, how one is, um, you know, more positive and the other is more negative and draining and, and hard work? Um, it's... Uh, you know, I get it. <laughs> you you became a wedding florist because you you loved flowers and you loved weddings and all that lovely stuff and and anything else that gets in the way of it, such as you know bookkeeping or updating your website or posting on social media, etc. Um, you know, it gives you that kind of uh, feeling, <laughs> and um, you know you approach it differently, don't you? When when you uh, when, when you're approaching it with this, this sort of negative kind of ugh, frame of mind. Uh, you approach things something differently. Whereas if you approach it with the same kind of zest and positivity and excitement as you do with the, the flowers, you, you do an absolutely amazing job of it. Um, I mean, okay, maybe I'm asking a little bit too much for you to get excited about posting on social media. That's probably quite a stretch right now, but but um, you know, hopefully you see what I mean about approaching it with with a more positive and, and different mindset. Um, you know, do, do just remember that this is an unknown for you. It's, it feels unnatural and forced and horrible because it's unknown. It, it, it's just it's something that doesn't come naturally to you because you just don't know it yet. And remember, there was a time when that was the case with flowers as well. You didn't start off by, you know, knowing everything about flowers. You didn't start off at college when you or, or you know bench training or wherever you learned your floristry automatically knowing how to make an amazing bridal bouquet you know that you didn't just knock up a bridal bouquet and it was amazing instantly and you know there was a time when you had to think about it right you know there was a time when you had to sort of think okay well what am I going to put into this I'm going to lay everything out I'm going to uh, I should put this stem here and that stem there um and you know how am I going to deliver it to the venue and how, how am I going to package this and do that and you know there's there's you, you there was a time when you had to um actively think like that um but once you get into that for a while once you've been doing it for for quite some time it comes naturally to you. Um, there's lots of things like that. We didn't start off in life knowing how to walk. <laughs> you know, we, that was something that was learned. We, um, as, as, as babies and small children, we we um, we, we couldn't walk at all at some time. And, and then when we did, it, it was very awkward and, and kind of an, an intentional kind of thing. But now, you know, we walk around without even thinking about it. Um and, it, you know, it's the same. It's the same with this. It's the same with anything new. So, you know, actually just setting yourself smaller targets, not being so hard on yourself. You, you aren't going to get, you know, 20,000 followers on Instagram straight away. You aren't going to be an overnight success on social media or in business. This takes time. I know people look at me. I've just passed today the 4,000 mark on my Instagram uh, for my florist business. And I'm really, really, really pleased with that. Um, you know, that was one of my goals for this year. And I've hit that in May. So I'm, I'm really pleased with that. Um, I didn't start out with that. I've been doing this for 11 years. Um, I've been on Instagram since 2015. And I've only just hit that 4,000 mark. I've been in business since 2011. And you know, it takes a while to build that up. So please don't be disheartened. 
please do keep plugging away at it and you, you will see the results. I, uh, I promise you. <laughs> okay. So I hope you've enjoyed today. Um, flower on. Well, thanks so much for listening all the way to the end of Wedding Florist Social. Remember to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future episodes. And if you want access to some free community and support, then head across to Facebook and look me up on the Worldwide Wedding Florist Community Group. I look forward to seeing you there.